Hey YouTubers, this is Bill in Panzerman's Bunker, showing you my latest build. It's a uh, Spitfire Mark 14 and a German V1 Buzz Bomb. It's a frog kit, pretty much uh, built straight out of the box, though I did add a lot of extra detail to the uh, Spitfire. Had to replace the inboard machine guns. They were broken. Added a lot of extra detail to the cockpit. Skimmed the inside, put the ribbing, add the harness, control panels. Too bad most of it's all hidden once you put the canopy on. Uh, surprised that the decals went down so well. It's a dated kit, probably from back in the 80s or 90s. And the uh, I like this kit because it came with the little, this little guy here, the V1 Buzz Bomb. Pretty nicely little detail kit. Spitfires would fly up and intercept these things before they could uh, hit their targets in, in England. This one I had to do some little bit of extra detailing with the, uh, around the front here, with the uh, intake and the actual grill. Probably not too visible here, but I uh, put a mesh in there and proper intake. Everything's painted with uh, Valeo acrylics, hand painting. It's such a small project, you know. I didn't break out the airbrush. And the uh, same with the Spitfire. All hand brushed. Valeo acrylics. What I liked about this one too is uh got to do some masking along the wing edges here. Around the, here, the stripe around here, and also underneath this invasion stripe. Yeah, turned out pretty good. I actually had to add this extension here that the buzz bomb's sitting on because uh, the kit stand had it way, way, way too close. Even in real life, I seriously doubt the Spitfire guy would open fire on this thing at this close range. I think they used to just go over and let the air turbulence of their wing flip it. Though I think some people said that, you know, or accounts where they actually tried to flip it with their wing, but. Other people told me they would just let the turbulence of the air going across the top of the wing slide over it and disrupt its airflow and flip it. But uh, good kit. Turned out real well. Like I said, frog, inexpensive kit. You can have a lot of fun jazzing it up a little. Yep. All right. Until next time, YouTubers, this is Panzerman Bill at Panzerman's Bunker. Talk to you later.